What's up, guys? Just uh, doing some homework right now. I've got um, got a final final exam in a couple of days. In uh, two days, from Friday. So I'm just doing some homework and stuff, reviewing. And I'm watching the uh, World of Warcraft episode of South Park right now. Um, I want to go over. I just <clears throat> I realized that one of the reasons why I think I'm. Um, one of the reasons why I'm losing weight rapidly is is because um, I'm in the gym way too long every day, so spending way too many calories. I mean, my workouts are typically. Because I do major muscle groups the same day, like chest and back and stuff, um, typically two hours to two and a half hours long, basically every day. And now that I got cardio, and I'm going to be increasing cardio soon, um, ab training at the end of workouts and stuff, that uh, I just don't have, like I, I can't do it. So I switched my split back to what it used to be. So. Uh, before I even started getting serious into bodybuilding and stuff. So it's, um, Monday legs. You keep it like that. Monday, Friday, you're going to stay legs. So Monday legs, Tuesday, um, chest and triceps. Uh, Wednesday, back and biceps. I just did that today. Thursday is my off day still, rest day. Friday, legs. Saturday, chest and shoulders. So I have two chest days, but only one shoulder day, and then uh, Sunday will be back and biceps again. It just repeats. So, uh, yeah, we're going to see how that goes. Feeling really good. I haven't done, like, I did a chest and triceps yesterday, and it felt pretty freaking good. My triceps were on fire at the end of that one, and back and biceps were, was really good today. I felt like I could focus so much more on just my back instead of doing chest and back. It just kind of ended up being counterproductive, I think, in the end. Check it out, guys. Got uh, food just all stacked up. I got all my beef meals here, all my chicken meals. I've got some more upstairs as well, but this is uh, all I can store in here. Yeah, so we're all good to go for now. How's everyone doing today? Uh, is this day was August 9th. Um, chest and shoulders here. So I started off. I always start off chest with incline barbell. I haven't been doing um, regular barbell bench. I've just been doing that with dumbbells. But I always start off with incline bench like this. So I hit. This is my third set. Eight reps. And uh, you can see, strength is still doing quite well. A little weaker, but still, uh, it's still not significant. You know, as far as already been dieting at this point for almost seven weeks here. So, and next up, we went to dumbbell incline, and these are 80-pound dumbbells. I think I get this for 8 reps as well, 3 sets of 8, so I always go straight from incline bar to incline dumbbell. I just think it's a great pump. Upper chest is the you know hardest hardest part of the chest to, to build, and definitely a, we a lagging weaken point for me, so I definitely like to hit it first when I'm fresh. So uh, this is the first time actually I've done chest and shoulders ever, to get actually second time I've ever done it together. But um, for now, uh, I went to just regular shoulder press, military press, whatever you want to call it. And it's just with 135, and 
the funny thing about this is my shoulder press, my barbell shoulder press used to be really strong. I could get 135 for 10 reps easy, but uh, right here you can see I'm struggling. I could only get six out and then some little tiny quarter rep. That's all I could get out there. And I moved on to lateral raises after that. These are 40 pound dumbbells. I love lateral raises probably well they're always been a staple exercise for me probably the best I could think of for your shoulders what I like to do is when I'm done I do normally about 10, 12, even more, 14 reps and then I think here I did 14 and then I burnt them out I love burning them out at the end of it so I burnt like you can see right here just little half reps to burn it really burn the muscle tear the muscle I find that there's you know more growth this way so next up, something that people don't normally, I don't think anyone really knows about this, but it's just with a shoulder press machine and you do one arm, you stay really close to the bench, like my nose is touching the bench right now, my stomach, everything, my chest, and you just push it out with one arm and then switch to the other when, once you're burnt out. I think I normally do about 10 reps each arm. You don't need to go incredibly heavy, obviously, because it's just one arm. I think this is 70. I went 70 on the machine here you can see it's a really big struggle you want to bring it down just below parallel and then push right back up this one ar so one arm machine press I gotta say is I've been doing it every workout lately and it's just killer for your shoulders and normally what I would do is once I'm on my third set this is like my first set I think my third set what you do is you just once you're done both arms then you put your both arms on the machine at the same time and you just burn it out with that same weight. The next up do some chest flies. I've been doing chest flies like this and then I do the decline ones right afterwards and it just freaking lights up your chest. Crazy pump. But um I think this is the last thing I, I filmed. There's a lot more to this workout but this is all that I filmed. Uh so thanks for watching guys and enjoy the rest of the video. So, uh, so then, do the chest and shoulder. I've never done chest and shoulders together. So, uh, I'm proud right now, my dad's are proud. School's done now, and uh, I'm back to work every day, full time. So it's taking a lot out of me. I work at 4:30 in the morning, so uh, it takes a lot out of me. So workouts are getting, you know, a little more challenging, and uh, yeah, so it's getting pretty tough. But we're pushing through. I've got. 12 weeks left, 12 weeks out, it's my first ever competition, so uh, it's pretty good right now, um, I have one day off of work this week, I work six days, it's getting rough.